Welcome back everyone to the State of the Nation. I'm sure you are now well aware of BRICS nations. BRICS uh, represent an alliance between Brazil, Russia, China, India and South Africa. These five countries are considered uh, emerging economies and have formed a significant partnership to stimulate growth and development among their members. Uh, I recently saw a video um, that actually came out from CNN who are like calling this alliance a fake alliance. It clearly shows that America is a little bit rattled about this. Next month, BRICS leaders are expected to attend the 15th BRICS summit in South Africa from the 22nd to the 24th of August 2023. However, Russian President, as you know, Vladimir Putin will not attend in person because of the warrant issued by America, oh, sorry, uh, International Criminal Court to arrest him. As we've been saying that our nation has been facing tough economic challenges lately, making Sri Lanka the perfect candidate for exploring alternative avenues to boost its growth by aligning itself with uh, nations like the BRICS nations, Sri Lanka could tap into a wide range of opportunities that would uh, fuel our economic revival. If the answer to our dollar crisis is selling more goods and services abroad, that BRICS nations possesses an expansive consumer market with a com combination population of around 3 billion people. The West is dying a slow death right now. It's not uh, prudent for Sri Lanka to keep banking on the West in the way we are doing. America is imploding with its uh, woke BS and on top Europe is falling apart and continues to fall into chaos due to a vast migration issues, just like what we saw in France. It, it, looking at BRICS, a good idea. That's a question we've been thinking for quite some time and we need to post and ask that question. And the former governor of the Central Bank who was uh, on Getriel a couple of weeks back had this to say, watch. I think all those are useful pointers to where we could go, Mahesh, because having relationships, having bilateral arrangements, have multilateral arrangements are all useful in order to do what? to finally to grow. That is the most important thing in an economy. If you do not grow, then you cannot really filter down the benefits to the people. Because finally it has to be people who benefit by it, not just the 1%. 1% 1 has already benefited. The 99% for it to benefit, the cake has to be made bigger and bigger and bigger. And that is what you have to concentrate on. Well, that was the former governor of the Central Bank, Ajit Nimat Kabra. Let's get more insights. Joining me now is the director of the Belt and Road Initiative in Sri Lanka, Yasiru Ranaraja. Good to see you again, Yasiru. Thank you very much for being here. Now, recently, there was a massive conversation about BRICS nations wanting their own currency, but the BRICS Bank, I think uh, they said uh, it's not really happening in the near future. Now, Sri Lanka is very much cash strapped or dollar strapped. And all indicators show that those nations in the BRICS will be the top dog uh, in the near future, Yasiru. In your opinion, what can Sri Lanka harness from this union? Yes, thank you for having me, Mahesh, again. Uh, you raised several good points in that question. So one is, first you mentioned the, the, the boosting of BRICS. It has become a global argument or a global debate or a discussion between member states. Uh, mainly because of instability happening in Europe and due to Russia's uh, sanctions. And uh, there is a glooming Global South coming out as an independent body to challenge the Global North in other financial terms. Apart from that, you mentioned Sri Lankan debt crisis. So if you take our external debt, we are, we are more dependent on ISBs, which was one of the main reasons for Sri Lanka's defaults. And, uh, Though it's mainly said Chinese uh, debt trap, but if you look at the numbers, main uh, issue we had was the ISB. So BRICS coming in as a whole unit would give the global south uh, much more room in order to negotiate and in order to form their resources and to develop their countries. So it would work as an alternative body towards, towards the existing global lending system. So apart from that, what can Sri Lanka harness through it? Uh, it varies because still BRICS is forming because BRICS has always been there for the last 10 years, but these few years it has, it has boomed and it has come to the top tables to come to some consensus between countries. But there are still frictions. We saw how India responded towards the currency. There is China, which would not 
want uh, international currency through BRICS because they have huge investments in USDs, they have the reserves in, invest, uh, in USD. So still the argument is going on, but Sri Lanka should actually look at what's happening and uh, attend to the whole uh, BRICS summit or the BRICS movement uh, in a positive manner because it's one of the branches that Sri Lanka could attach to apart from Shanghai Cooperation uh, Organization. Uh, and the Belt and Road Initiative. These are very formative uh, areas that we could develop our country as well by getting uh, loans at a good rate. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, should uh, Sri Lanka put forward an application to join this alliance? But um, geopolitically, we see that the United States doing their level best to keep Sri Lanka in its uh, economic clutches. Yes, once again, you, uh, as you mentioned, our only rescue plan here is IMF and IMF. There is no other way, no other debate on the table. We are just complying with whatever uh, is given to us in the paper with a with lot of pressure because local communities in Sri Lanka are struggling a lot to go through these reforms. They are struggling economically uh, because these are very strong capitalist or market-based reforms that we are doing right now. So I don't think, as I said before, I don't think we should join BRICS at this time. But it's as in uh, Bangladesh is doing, we should voice a voice for it as in it's a it's an opportunity or it's an uh, it's an opportunity for us to join in the future so that we could always grant a debate uh, or always have good leverage over it uh, i had to recall where the south african president uh, during last week uh, made a comment on the paris uh, conference he said that BRICS currency is coming up and he he sort of played the BRICS card so it's it sort of being a bargaining card for the global south so that you know the 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 normal the western or the uh, uniform funding structure global funding structure multilaterals would align their tough um, you know sanctions and tough uh, economic reform policies and uh, a bit uh, flex it would flexible they would be come to the global south so in some more flexible terms so that is what the global south needs much more flexible working uh, spirit uh, among the nations. So, uh, going back to the question, I think Sri Lanka should actually uh, look into it. Uh, apart, apart from that, we are looking at ASEAN, we are looking at there is Belt and Road Initiative, apart from that there is the Indian Rim Association. So, all these are good uh, organizations which are happening which should focus on different areas. So, BRICS would be sort of a financial, uh, alternative financial model that Sri Lanka should, could uh, in the future formulate uh, into. All right, we have to leave it at that. Appreciate it, Yasiru. That was the director of the Belt and Road Initiative in Sri Lanka, Yasiru Branaraja. We'll take a short break. This is the State of the Nation. Back in a minute.